Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Well, our major storm is lifting off into uh, New England, and uh, as you can see, the old primary low is giving way to the new coastal low that is currently over the Hudson River Valley and southwestern Connecticut. This low pressure center will continue to lift northeast towards the Gulf of Maine, and meanwhile, Cold air will continue to filter into the northern mid-Atlantic. Temperatures are falling through the 30s over eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and will do so also for the New York City metropolitan area and Connecticut. At the same time, there are, ver there are a variety of disturbances that are moving through the uh, Great Lakes and heading towards the northern mid-Atlantic, with the threat for snow showers, and a few of those snow showers, especially for southeastern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey, could actually produce some accumulation. Anywhere from a dusting up to two inches. I'm not expecting much, but I don't want you to be surprised when it starts to snow in your location. So these disturbances will continue to rotate through the northern Mid Atlantic as this storm stalls over New England and basically the upper level low sits up around the St. Lawrence River Valley and uh, parts of southeastern Canada. As a result, disturbances will keep moving through and the cold conditions will continue. Now, high pressure will continue to set up over the uh, upper Midwest and over the Tennessee River Valley, producing a northwesterly flow throughout the entire region, which will lead to temperatures remaining below normal in the 20s and 30s for highs, and also producing wind chills in the teens and 20s. So clearly, we're looking at a rather cold week. So is there a snow on the way? Well, we have one threat uh, coming up for uh, Thursday into Friday. It looks like just a minor light snow event, a uh, clipper disturbance that will be rotating around the upper level low and shooting off the mid-Atlantic coast. Yes, there is a potential for some light snowfall accumulation, 1 to 2, maybe 2 to 4, over parts of the Philadelphia metro and southern New Jersey, but this is not a big deal. Right now, it looks just pretty light and a fast-moving system on Thursday night and a Friday morning. However, there is a much more impressive storm that could potentially set up for this weekend. Let's take a look at the latest European model guidance. Now, this is the uh, European model guidance from 12Z yesterday uh, from the Penn State E-Wall. And notice the setup of the pattern. Most importantly, notice the phase that develops along the East Coast. There is a phase between a disturbance that is moving through the uh, Mississippi River Valley and another disturbance that is setting up over the Great Lakes. This phase produces a low pressure system off the southeast coast which moves due north and of course produces heavy snowfall. The same type of setup is seen on the GFS model from Zero Z. However, the European model guidance from Zero Z did not follow through. Instead, it did this. It ended up keeping the disturbances separate. Disturbances separate, no storm, because there's no phasing and no reason for the low pressure center that develops off the southeast coast to move north. Instead, note the, the 500 millibar heights, they would direct the storm to move to, the due, to due east, and basically out in the Atlantic where eventually it would explode and become a major ocean storm. Now there are a variety of reasons why this, is, why this could happen. Both solutions are viable at this time. However, it really depends on several features in at 500 millibars, one over the Pacific, the upper level low, and the other one over Eastern Canada in that position of the upper low. Now I discussed the differences and impacts of these uh, two features and also the position of the 500 millibar pattern in the premium discussion. So uh, if you're not a premium member, I would suggest te checking out a membership because uh, I describe in depth ex exactly what we're going to have to look for throughout this week, why the models are doing what they're doing, and also what to expect moving forward even after this storm. Physics always trumps any model guidance. So once we understand the physics behind this storm, then we understand whether the storm will happen or not. Regardless of the outcome of this storm, whether it happens or not, one thing is for certain, and that it is going to remain cold all the way through what looks like to be Christmas. So, uh, is there a potential for a white Christmas? Because I know I'm going to get the answer question anyway in emails. Yes, there is a potential, uh, but there's no slam dunk. This is not a uh, forecast that's going to be easily solved over the next five days. I expect a lot of model guidance to uh, flip back and forth. 
But one thing is for sure, it will be cold going forward throughout uh, the rest of this December. And uh, it looks like there's going to be plenty of Arctic air around to uh, keep the pattern rather interesting going forward. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA weather as your weather source for the northern Mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Have an excellent day.